Um, now, we've got this slide up. I wanted to pass it over to Mike to discuss this slide talking about the federal and state and local paid leaves that we're seeing coming into effect for um, a lot of California employers. Yeah, thanks, Anthony. So, yeah, these are kind of the three coronavirus-related paid sick leave acts that, that you might be uh, subject to. Uh, important to keep in mind, your, your worker is only going to be uh, subject to one of these three. They don't, there's not going to be a case where they're subject to two of them. They get to take two of them. So it's important to figure out which of these apply. And in some cases, maybe none apply, but at most, only one will apply. So Anthony discussed the FFCRA. The qualifier here is that you, the employer has less than 500 employees. And, and in that case, all employees of the employer would would qualify for this leave. Uh, there's six qualifying reasons, which you know Anthony listed and went over on on uh, slide 13. And uh, it's important to remember that the, this does have the FFCRA does have a tax credit refund aspect to where you can pay it out on the front end and uh, get a tax credit on the back end, uh, and it expires at the end of 2020. Uh, California supplemental paid sick leave was an executive order by Governor Newsom uh, that purported to try to fill some of the gaps that they saw in the FSCRA. So it applies to employers of 500 or more employees, but the only qualifying persons are food service workers. And you know, broadly speaking, this is going to mostly affect restaurants, uh, grocery stores, and uh, you know, agricultural workers. But, but it has specific definitions of food workers. Uh, it has three qualifying reasons that an employee could take sick leave. The first two mirror the, the reasons one and two of the FFCRA. And then this California Supplemental Paid Sick Leave has a third reason, which is if you, the employer, are prohibiting the employee from coming to work because of concerns about uh, coronavirus transmission. And so that may come into play if you decide you have to close a, the restaurant because there's been a, a positive case, These, those employees, other employees, affected employees may be entitled to this supplemental paid sick leave. Uh, and this expires when the governor's stay at home order is lifted. Well, both this one or if there's a, a future one, whenever there's not a stay at home order in place uh, statewide. And then finally, the city of Los Angeles has a supplemental paid sick leave order uh, it applies to employers that have over 500 employees in LA and or, or 2,000 nationally. Uh, it specifically doesn't apply if the governor's executive order applies, uh, but otherwise it applies to all employees. It has, I believe that's all employees in LA. It has four qualifying reasons uh, for paid sick leave, which are essentially reasons one, two, four, and five of the FFCRA. One, one wrinkle is that uh, in addition to needing to take care of a child because of loss of childcare or school closure, uh, it can also be used to it, take care of a family member who has uh, lost senior care living. So that's important to keep in mind. And it, it goes into, uh, it stays in effect through two weeks after the uh, emergency is lifted. No, and that, that's where this gets so confusing. There's this patch, patchwork of laws that could apply. We've got federal, state, and now local laws providing for all these leaves. So um, it's you know great overview, Mike, and good reminder for employers to keep an eye on what's going on on all levels and make sure that they're complying with all federal, state, and local guidelines. 